Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the first FTD University webinar of 2020. We are excited to kick off the year with today's webinar titled American Floral Trends Forecast 2020-2021, Turning Trends into Dollars. FTD Education Consultant J. Keith White, AIFD, will be leading this webinar. As Creative Director of the American Floral Trends Forecast, Keith will be sharing the four new color palettes, flowers, and key elements of each trend. As Partner and Design Director of a &K Productions, a special events company, Keith is known for his floral vision and extraordinary designs. He has been an integral part of the American Floral Trends Forecast team since 2006, serving as the Creative Director for the past six years. Once Keith is finished with his presentation, we will open the webinar up for questions. If you have a question, simply type it in the question box that's on the upper right side of your screen. Feel free to submit your questions during the presentation and we'll hold them until the Q&A portion of the webinar. So without further ado, I would like to turn the call over to Keith to begin the webinar. Keith? Thank you, Janet, and welcome as we embark on a new year and decade. Florist Review and I are pleased to present its ninth edition of American Floral Trends Forecast for this FTD webinar series. The American Floral Trends Forecast, the floral industry's leading report on U.S. floral design trends, launched in 2004. This biennial trends forecast continues to expand its platform as an information resource and inspiration wellspring for designers and for the industry at large by anticipating consumer style preferences and buying behaviors. Turning Trends into Dollars, Foresight 2020. To maintain the momentum and success of previous forecasts, American Floral Trends Forecast consultants analyze the creative forces shaping and intersecting emerging trends across key verticals of fashion, interior design, chromatics, pop culture, world events, social media, music, technology, fine arts, entertainment, sports, and of course, travel. These observations and influences when thoughtfully combined with changes and innovations in the floral design and product supply establish foreseeable conditions and indicators that predict floral trends on the horizon. Now, for your market share. After careful review of the American Floral Trends forecast, look at your market share and determine a direction, one trend or a combination of all. Focus in on a category, who you are as a retailer or your customer base, that category, and the possibilities who you want to expand it to. Visual merchandising is the first step of the new decade. Plan out trend merchandise areas within your store to feature merchandising with trend palettes and themes. Also, this is a great platform to offer in-house designs associated with each theme. Hopefully by now your Valentine's planning has been done, but use this as a platform for planning with ease into the spring and capture additional Mother's Day dollars with trend colors and palettes. Your online equals in-store. Use specific trend palettes to harmonize your in-store and online visual presence. Even a possible update to your colors. That means logo colors too. Also, think about web equals wall. And on your About Us tab, uh, on your web page, update it. Take a look at it. See what the consumers are seeing. Show examples of current design styles and colorations. Your store displays. Social media platforms such as Instagram or Facebook, just to name a couple, are great platforms to showcase your designs, your trend capabilities. And again, close-ups images are the best for engagements to followers. Now to introduce you to the four leading floral trends. Metropolitan, think of it nouveau thinking. Yes, a throwback. 
a time period from 1890 to 1910. Yes, history does repeat itself, and so do colors. On speaking of colors, there are seven colors per trend, and the seven colors uh, chosen for Metropolitan contain four blues, blue violet, blue marlin, Pacific blue, robin's egg blue, two accent colors, sprout and coral bright, along with one metallic tone of antique gold. All of the colors are based off of Design Master color palettes. And so when I mention uh, colors, uh, the main colorations, and then also accent colors, always keep those in mind. The influences uh, under Metropolitan, uh, again, are those dramatic curved lines as seen as the photo from Paris, Metropolitan, the subway stop. Asymmetrical forms, intense color and, and from nature, just think of those natural elements. Key strong lines and sinuous curves, like on the vases, those beautiful curvature lines that are shown. Textures and intricate details. Texturing can mean not only a flat surface like the art glass, but the mosaic tile that's transposed into the Donna Stevens beautiful ribbons that are featured. Color options, when you look at each one of the trends, uh, there will be seven colors. Any combo will work, just always remember that, from a single color to the full combination. Here, coral is brought together with sprout, and consumers will still embrace coral as a color to carry forward. Coral Bright was also the color of the year for 2019. So again, in the marketplace, colors are brought forward and are still con in consumer demand. Even though the color of the year for this year, 2020, from Pantone, is classic blue. So when you look at the blues, also you will see uh, blues brought in in the colorations of the softer flowers like scabiosa, iris, hydrangea, and delphinium. The soft, delicate, flowing lines are the key. The combination that Laura Dowling has presented here uh, shows the specifics of all the great materials that can be combined together. Again, make it your own. Use these as inspiration and use blues not only as a background or you can incorporate it into designs. The applications under Metropolitan are, can, are and can be enhancements of products that are available in the floral marketplace, such as items from Oasis like the Metalino or the green bullion wire. Ribbons also enhance design stylings throughout each one of the trends. Florals, floral applications such as the dianthus or the green trick carnation, as people might be calling it, um, stand in new form and with these enhancements give a new inspiration to design. The container to the left um, is a choice from accent decor, and it can be used as the decorative element. The flowers speak for themselves, as you can see here in the photograph. Or it can be an art piece, like what Stacy Carlton has uh, designed here for the American Floral Trends forecast. Um, it is a combination of wonderful wires in the color of the year, the blue, the classic blue or lake blue, and the container has been uh, covered with, and I hate to say, beetle-bodied container. Uh, so that whole concept, uh, depending again, labor costing has a big factor in determining how much and how artistic you can be. So these are some of the applications that can be uh, applied to Metropolitan. As simple as flowers in a vase or as intricate as the artful piece presented by Stacy. And the second trend, Promenade, is curating legacies. Back again, the old meaning, a slow walk, to be seen and noticed by a bride or even a fashionista. The color palettes in Promenade relate back to the previous consumer likes and purchases, such as blush, Oceana peach, that's a real throwback in my book, 
uh, but peachy, almond, beach, champagne gold, and the new introduction of the Design Master Color Honeycomb, which gives us a great buttery yellow color. The influences in Promenade stem from the Edwardian period. Again, from 1901 to 1910. It's great how we take history and repeat it through a lot of the trends and through research because of the strong elements, such as the graceful but bolder design elements um, from the Edwardian period. Not as fanciful as the Victorian period, but more precise as the Edwardian period becomes. Also, Beaux Arts architectural elements become relevant. They become new and they become ageless. Color options within the promenade uh, scenario and trend, I must say, garden roses, garden roses, garden roses. There's so many new varieties that the Japanese uh, varieties grown here now in America and specialty cuts that could be locally grown or even California grown or back again, US grown are in high demand. Embrace the collections and the availability. And of course, consumer driven likes and loves of all these specialty blooms. Style and promenade becomes very relaxed, like the image that shown on the left-hand top that I did, casually put together, but very bold in its formatting of the beautiful award-winning roses from SAF. Also, Holly has shown us some great unstructured uh, bridal bouquets. Again, flowing details like the ribbon from Donna Stevens, the blush pink with the damask print in the brown or beach tones. Then the grouping arrangement from uh, Stacy Carlton. You can see the possibilities that the designs can vary in each one of the trends. It's up to you to be inspired and take your interpretations like the designers did for each one of the trends. In the applications of Promenade, uh, through all of our research that has be done, been done with the trends, this should be the number one wedding combination, not only from the color marketing group and from Design Master, but again, from the consumer. So make it your own and own it. Uh, I have to say, details, details, details. Uh, look at the three photographs shown. The one with Toby with all the detailing on the shoes that could be done for a wedding, for a prom, the couture headpiece and necklace uh, that Toby has presented here with all those beautiful tones and tints of promenade colors. Then down to the detail-oriented wire work by Verito shown in uh, a great example, close-up example of wire work that, and the possibilities there of you could do. So consider this uh, for prom and wedding, couture designs, and it's by you. So put your name on it and be proud of what the consumer is wanting today in couture wear that you can provide them. Exploration. I have to give you a quote uh, from Star Trek. It's a continuing mission, quote unquote, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. A true explanation of exploration. Uh, with a bold color palette, we see yellow, yellow, not a typo, a true color, tangerine, carnation red, fuchsia, purple, bright blue, and with the twist of the whole color palette is ice blue, that soft muted blue that's going to really make any color of those brights pop when you put it next to it, like a green would do. The influences are, are broad, and I have to say broad because they're truly global impact of joining countries, such as the Olympics, the 2020 Olympics that will be held in Tokyo, 
Twitch, if you're not familiar with eGames, a global phenomenon of online gaming. Very uh, youthful, but there's some older ones doing it too. So also we look at even the Mars Rover 2020, our anticipations and looking forward to space travel once again. But it could be as simple and the complexity of Lego craze, bringing our planet Earth together with self-expression. Bold colors, here we go, can be very tricky to use all of them together. So carefully choose texture and intensity are key to combinations. Shown here are a combination of tangerine, fuchsia, and purple. Uh, the wreath by Laura Dowling gives that prime example of the pure texturing. Also the image of the coxcomb, the texture that can be involved in it. Gerbers, dahlias, a simple combination gathering vase of uh, beautiful blooms that I put together showing a um, simple approach to exploration. And not so simple would be the artistic creations, thinking outside the box or the bowl. For instance, Murad had done a design using two of the fuchsia boxes and then all the design work encompassed within the box forms. Also, the bowl presented by myself um, is not done in the bowl, but on the edge of the bowl design, which is possibly done by a ring. Also, the beautiful selection when I say choose carefully, that it could be tricky to use all these colors together. Laura chose using a monochromatic combination, but also exploring uh, the garden cuts and vegetables together. So, Showing that little example of Crespedia and the globe, the texturing of it, this truly is a global exploration and experimentation of artistic showings. So experiment with colors and textures, shifting of color with flowers and foliages like Stacy has shown here with all the different varieties and color palettes that can be applied with the shifting of design master paints. And again, the sky's the limit, but also spark an ultra modern vibe and cutting edge designs, such as the one Bill and Chris have completed here for you. Once again, with an Asian influence, a nod to Tokyo and the 2020 Olympics. Tara, from the earth. I struggled with this a little bit because it's not truly a word. So we developed a new word, hopefully it'll be in the dictionary soon, and the term territory, um, meaning from the earth, fields to florist, and of course, American grown. And the color palette, it's true to nature. The earthy color palettes feature brand new colors from Design Master like red clay, heatherish, and herbal. And you have to think of lake equals the color of the year from Pantone Classic Blue. We've also included the light okra in here, maroon, and keeping in mind those new colors that complement mist like herbal does. Influences within uh, territory have been known to and our connections with Mother Nature and mankind. So watch nature's vast array of emotions and what they partake for those drawn to a natural aesthetic and create all the possibilities thereof. From the fragrant eucalyptus to the mm, tasteful okra, some people might say, not me, but Proteas, succulents bound in this particular trend, along with red clay and again, the herbal containers. So think of the colorations also not only for flowers, for container selections, again, to drive or turn dollars, uh, the trends into your dollars. Options that are available 
um, in territory, again, with colors, botanicals and the natural terrain, keep them as one. As you can see here, heatherish and herbal go hand in hand in the bridal bouquets presented by Katharina. And also the inspirations of couture headpieces that are seen frequently now in floral design fit perfectly in a vessel. Uh, so look at other favorites and number one SAF winters like Contentuous, which is the smoke bush, the purple foliage in the center of the slide, was the number one foliage at the SAF conference winter. So enjoy items such as kale that most people eat for lunch these days, but put it in your design and one of my favorites, artichokes. The style of territory blends in not only the cage-free egg, but it's also can be seen as a modern vegative design formed by Katarina and the design to the left-hand side. As things would be growing as nature implied the design to be. All the way to Holly's design, which gives us an example of the delicate and naturally formed tulips and a compote composition. The small wreaths and delicate yet bay leaf and integrifolia have been used to beckon um, our sense of not only fragrance but texture. And of course, what would we be without leucodendrum and protea that show nature being grounded and organic, a true um, aspects of territory styling. And the, from the painted and formed compote you see here in the toile pattern and wreaths, you can see that uh, these combinations work well together, not only for wedding, home decor, uh, everyday design, and you can expand these back again, the organic and grounded feeling that this natural color palette gives us. So choose an American floral trend to capitalize on trends into dollars. Uh, again, I would like to thank uh, the trends uh, creative, not for myself, but the trends consultant team that it would not be possible without people listed, Heidi, Laura, Hatomi, Charlie, John, Chris, Bill Schaefer, and Chris, also with our corporate consultants and sponsors also from Sarah with Accent Decor, Dave with American Grown, Gretchen Design Master, Donna Stevens, Kelly Mays, and of course, Florist Review, Wildflower Media. And I have to also thank, there's been an additional eight designers um, in, incorporated that I've asked to be a part of the American Floral Trends Forecast 2020. So again, not all from me, I just deliver a message and hoping that you can turn trends into dollars. We'll be taking questions shortly, and I'd like to inform you that the handouts are available at ftdi.com, FTD University, at the webinars material. There is a full version of the American Floral Trends Forecast 2020-21 available in PDF form for you, down, for you to download and view, which is a must. You must see the full report to visualize and capitalize on each one of the trends. The webinar will also be available for you to view later on or for your friends or family or people that ask about it at youtube.com. FTD Mercury Network. If you need a printed copy of the American Floral Trends Forecast 2020-21, it will, is also available from Florist Review Magazine. If you'll just check with them and they'll be happy to send you a copy or as many copies as you would like. Thank you once again, Janet, and thank you for tuning in uh, for the American Floral Trends Forecast 2020 FTD webinar turning trends into dollars. Keith, uh, thank you for sharing a lot of great information. The trends look gorgeous. We're excited to see how those unfold this year. 
Um, as Keith mentioned, we're open for questions now. So um, remember, if you have a question, type it in that box um, on the upper right side of your screen. And we do have a question from Cheryl. Um, she was looking at expanding her bridal market going forward. Um, which trend is the best one to show to a bride first? Uh, like I mentioned, pick a trend that relates to your company the best. So let's say it is um, territory. Um, so you can show them some of that natural forming mats of colorations. But again, promenade is going to be probably the number one most asked for color palette for 2020 and again into 2021. So either one of those. But again, look at your marketplace and believe in yourself and believe who you are and where you're catering to. So look at the trends once again in that form. Uh, great, we've got a question from Sherry. Um, she wants to know if you see this trend lasting for several years. Uh, which trend? All of them, all four? <laughs> As, I would say let's go with all four. Let's go with all four. As I mentioned, we always have emerging colors like coral was the color of the year for Pantone in 2019. And it does carry forward. So yes, we'll also be seeing the color of the year, uh, classic blue, which relates to the numerous colors from design masters such as Lake. Um, Keith, we can't hear you very well. Ah, better? Um, a little bit. You need you to talk really loud, please. Okay, better? Yes, thank you. Oh, sorry. So the carry forward colors like uh, from 2019 Coral uh, is relevant to see looking at the trends for 2020 with the color of the year from Pantone being classic blue um, that will carry forward. Each one of these trends also emerged from year to year. That's why it's done only every two years because of grower availability and again, consumer demand on the marketplace. So answer to your question, definite yes, they will emerge forward. All right, well great. It looks like that's it for questions today. Everybody's still digesting the trends. Um, just wanna thank everybody for attending today's webinar. If you missed a portion of the webinar or would like to view it again, as Keith mentioned, the replay will be available on the FTD Mercury Network Florist YouTube channel later this week. Um, as always, we'll be sending you a very brief survey to gather your feedback on today's webinar. Uh, we'd ask you to please just take a minute or two, complete the survey, and help us improve uh, future webinars and other education programs for our FTD members. Our next FTD webinar is scheduled for Tuesday, March 24th, titled, Social Strategy, Paid versus Organic. Kristen Naher, the CEO of Bootcamp Digital, will share the pros, cons, and tactics for making smart decisions and getting the results you need with regards to organic versus paid social reach. The registration is already available at ftdi.com, so be sure to register as soon as possible and reserve your spot today. Uh, again, Keith, want to thank you for sharing a lot of information, great information about the new trends uh, for 2020, 2021. Everyone, this concludes today's webinar, American Floral Trends Forecast 2020-2021, Turning Trends into Dollars. Thank you, everyone.